Well, so great to see you on this Thursday evening where we're looking at some rain showers and with us much of the afternoon. A little light drizzle that's across the area. Wintry mix just beginning to show up. And if you're up in southern Michigan, you're going to have to pay closer attention to that as we see falling temperatures back close to the freezing mark. And I do expect some slick spots that will develop, especially for some bridges and overpasses and any elevated surfaces. Now, overall, this is mainly in the form of rain. We've taken, generally speaking, though, the Maumee River or Route 24 north of that. So we're talking about parts of Fulton, uh, parts of northern Henry County, Defiance and Williams County, uh, where we're going to see the better chance of a mix that will make its way in and up across the state line up into Michigan. Just to get a recent report in around Adrian, right around 223 up towards Devil's Lake and also the northern part of the county up toward Tecumseh, parts of M50 as well. In northern Monroe County, we're getting a little bit of a wintry mix that is just beginning to show up, but all in the form of rain, where perhaps we may see rising temperatures in the next few hours across the southern edge of our viewing area. Looking toward Upper Sandusky right along Route 30 back over toward Cary and into the vicinity of Finley and Hancock County still hanging on to the lower 40s. Generally speaking, those winds they're also whipping northeast winds gusting about 20 to 30 miles per hour across vast majority of the area and temperatures have been falling and this is something we're keeping a very close eye on getting close to that freezing mark across southern Michigan. So what you need to know about that potential wintry mix tonight. Let's send it over to meteorologist John Birchfield and John overall this isn't going to be a big deal for the widespread travel across the area tonight. Yeah, Chris overall the impacts pretty minimal at least for the Toledo Metro, but as we're focusing on southeastern Michigan has the best chance to see a little bit of that wintry mix. We're going to see those evening showers transition to some snowflakes late tonight as a cold front sweeps on through and brings us back to wintry weather. A few slick roads are possible and it's primarily those colder surfaces like the bridges and overpasses. Those tend to ice over a little bit sooner. Also parking lots get a little bit icy and if you live in an apartment complex, sometimes those become a bit slick due to the falling freezing drizzle. Here's a look at the next couple of days as we have or the next couple of hours as those temperatures drop cold front sweeping in from the West, and as this system moves on through, rain showers will eventually transition to a light wintry mix. That blue on the back side of this cold front shows you snow showers mixing in tonight. Accumulations look to be slim to none, but certainly a bitter breeze developing behind that system. Good news for your Friday. Some sunshine returns. However, there is going to be a colder northwest wind. You'll see that afternoon sunshine. That'll be a nice treat to see a little bit of sun on the back side of that system, but it's sure going to feel cold as we head into the start of the week. Weekend. Chris, we haven't talked about wind chills in a while, but it's time we got to put those two words back in our vocabulary. Do you remember where the winter coats uh, and hats and gloves are, John? It's probably collecting a little bit of dust, if I'm being honest. I think if uh, mom or dad should probably be looking for those right now for the kids if they're going to be headed out to school tomorrow morning. John, exactly right. Bitter cold wind chills tomorrow morning. We're looking like back in the lower to mid teens. So that harsh cold wind chill, nothing unusual for this time of the year in mid February. We're just not used to it, to be honest, with how warm things have been over the past past several weeks. Let's put this in motion through lunchtime. Even at lunchtime tomorrow, wind chill factors right around the mid teens and we'll head close to 20 degrees. That's about as warm as it's going to feel all day tomorrow. It will be a cool day, but much like we've seen this winter, it just doesn't last long. We warm right back up into the weekend. We'll get some sunshine into Friday afternoon back close to 30 degrees. Mid 40s as we see Saturday roll around. It will be a breezy day to start the weekend. Mostly sunny skies. We'll get another weekend that has dry and sunny weather. Close to 50 degrees on Sunday. Dry conditions will continue through Sunday with partly sunny skies. And into Monday, we'll get clipped with a few light rain showers. Back to 44 for the high on Monday. Into Tuesday, lower 40s. And another warming trend is going to Wednesday and Thursday. Climb back through the upper 40s and into the mid 50s and it does appear like that system toward the middle of next week. We've been keeping an eye on it. We're likely to be warm and see rain chances likely instead of anything that would resemble winter or snow.